we're here at the uh, Glen Rose High School Tiger Arena. Y'all know how to have a pep rally. I, I'll Holy tell you. This oh is my right back to my and high school days. This is Hunter. <laughs> That's Hunter. <laughs> Hunter's, been, Hunter's been running for like the last hour during the entire pep rally. And now I during think the we show. need to stop Hunter. Way to go. Hunter, come here. Hunter, Hunter come right here. here. Hunter. Hunter's going to keep running. <laughs> come here. Are you tired yet? No. No? no? You have <laughs> so much energy. What grade are you in? Eighth? Eighth grade. All right, keep running, keep running. Get everybody <laughs> pepped up. <laughs> He's adorable. This has been such an electric morning already with I this know. pep rally. It has been the cheerleaders, the dance team, the drum line, and my favorite was one of the mascots actually was on the drum line, which was so great. And of course, we have to thank the culinary students yes. here because they made us a great spread this morning of breakfast. breakfast. It was so yummy yep. and really neat that they have that technical program here for them. They are, you know, and that is one thing about this high school. We're going to learn a whole lot more about it as the morning progresses, but um, they have um, technical certification mm -hmm. programs, so mm -hmm. um, the, you can uh, learn to be an I, I Mac technician, wow. um, the culinary program, as you said, and they awesome. made us that beautiful breakfast. So, so many exciting things going on. And it's so beautiful out, out here. I love, love, love Glen Rose. Give it a we, hand. Yes, we love Glen Rose. Okay, so. <laughs> Y'all are so, so good. So, we should mention this, it really is like a college campus here it because is. they have everyone, um, mm -hmm. all the students close by. So there are like what, 1,700 students? 1,700 students here and they're, uh, that includes uh, pre-K through 12. Through 12, yeah. And uh, it's a 3A high school and they're going to be playing the uh, West Trojans tonight. So they're they going to be beating the West Trojans tonight, right guys? They have determined right, guys? this morning that they are. All we heard, all we can hear screaming was, I believe that we will win. Yeah, I, believe I believe that, that we, we will win. win. So now um, I'm ready to go back to my cheerleader <laughs> days. I'm ready. Bring me some Are you going to do a herky? Maybe. Please. Maybe. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. In my high heels, I'll try it. <laughs> um, Stuart's up there with a bunch of the kids. And Stuart, I'm curious from um, some of the students up there, what their favorite part about living in Glen Rose? Because it's a pretty small town. They have, what, about 7,000 people in the entire town. Tell me, guys, what, what do you think so cool about living in Glen Rose. Look at mom getting out of the way here. Mm -hmm. What is so cool about living in Glen Rose? Um, well, like everybody, like you really know everybody here. So. Total small town feel? Yeah. yeah. What about you? Um, <laughs> do you do cool things on the weekends? Yes, like we all pile up in a big pile to games and cheer for them. Because the football team's pretty good here, right? Yes. What about you over here? <laughs> she doesn't want to be on TV. Yeah, she's going to grow up to be a television Watch. news anchor. I'll tell you that right now. What's that? <laughs> She'll grow up to be a news anchor. Right. Yeah. Just like you. <laughs> okay, well, I've got some good news for you guys. I found this article, and I thought it was really interesting, and it's going to make you feel really great about where you live and that you live in a small town. It talks about all the ways that living in a small town prepares you for life, and I totally believe this. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles, as Don did. And I was explaining larger... how my senior class was about the size of this. <laughs> This, this entire, entire school, right, yeah. where they had all of the school levels here today. That was interesting. So one of the things I thought was cool is it says that you learn to be an individual. When you live in a smaller town, you actually learn to be an individual. It says that everyone knows who you are, and um, you're not embarrassed to be who you are. It also causes you to be generally optimistic about the intentions of other people. So y'all are going to go into this world being optimistic, lovely people, and, and looking for the best in everyone, which is so important. Don't ever lose that. Yeah, that mm. helps you in life, helps you in jobs, and all those things. So. Uh, very, very interesting. Also, that you're very well rounded in a small town, you guys. So, everybody thinks that you got to grow up in a big city to be, you know, well rounded, but that's not at it's all not true. It's not the truth. It's further from the truth. And here's something really cute 10 ridiculous things that happen in small town high schools. Uh oh, uh -oh y'all are going to see. Maybe y'all can identify with this. You graduate with the exact same people you met on the first day of kindergarten. Yep. How many of you are still friends with people that you met in kindergarten? See? Oh my hand. goodness, you are so <laughs> lucky, you have no idea. Half the people in your class have the same last name. Anybody with the same last names? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Um, let's see, eighth grade promotion is as lavish as many college graduations. Did y'all, have y'all graduated eighth grade yet? Are you, you're no. still middle school, right? Yep. Do y'all say junior high or middle school? I'm curious. Junior high. I love it. I am so glad to hear so that. Did, you said you graduated with a class of 35. I had 35 in my class. Oh my I was goodness. a very, very tiny private school. And I, I always thought that I wasn't very lucky for doing that. But as I look back, I think I was very lucky. Yeah, my 20th high school reunion. I'm like, 
who are these people? It was exactly. so big. Well, I'll tell you why else you're lucky. Y'all have a 98% graduation rate wow. in this high school. So when you get up to the high school level, chances are you're going to go on and do wonderful, fantastic things with your lives. So. Yeah. And Glen Rose is a great place to grow up. We can tell. We've already been here and visited and been hanging out the last few days. So y'all oh so had so fun. much fun. You guys, we're going to be showing during the show I today. I even all the things got that chased by dinosaurs. <laughs> you guys will see the video. It's kind of scary. Very cute. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of stuff going on this morning. Um, we are going to talk about dinosaurs. Y'all yes. went to I went to the dinosaur, dinosaur park mm -hmm. and I saw some big old dinosaur tracks that mm -hmm. were incredible. Yeah, and also um, the Inn on the River where you oh, stayed last beautiful. night, right? All just I can beautiful. say is the Inn on the River. I'm coming back. And I don't know if you <laughs> y'all have been there yet, but your mama needs to go and she needs to take her girlfriends and they need to stay the night because it beautiful. was the most comfy bed. I fell in and I didn't want to get out. It oh, was yeah. so, amazing. Someone was a little late this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone didn't want to get out. Of take bed a look. This so Dawn had a chance to visit the Inn. Take a look.